Hello. I'm in Grand Haven, Michigan. That's where I live. Um, about to have band practice with cloud light in a couple hours. A few hours. I need all three of them. I realized since I've been back, I haven't really spent any time in my hometown. And that was actually a really powerful experience for me this summer, was connecting with um, just the land here and the people here, but like in a casual way, just in a like walking out and about way and smiling at people I don't know and buying soft pretzels, which is probably a bit of a problem. <laughs> I'm gonna try to just have like one a week instead of like one almost every day because that was definitely a way I found a lot of comfort um, during some hard times and so it became a kind of really weird habit. Um, so, just, uh, <laughs> hi. <laughs> Sitting in the middle of a sidewalk taking a YouTube video and a very nice looking woman just <laughs> probably wanted to walk past. <laughs> oh, trees. Okay, uh, so this, uh, sorry, I meant to lear like learn, like I just said it like two, three videos ago, I don't know how backed up I am, I'm trying to upload them faster, um, I'm trying to learn to start with the thing that is the point of the video and then ramble at the end, but that just doesn't work out, maybe I just can't do it, I put in there that I was going to try to do it and then I just didn't do it, <laughs> so that's me, welcome, best intentions, I don't know. Maybe that's just me trying to be like others or me trying to be successful. And if people need things to start with the point of the thing, then I don't know. Maybe I could like find where the point starts and then put like a link to that below, like a number. Like I get to the point at 2 minutes and 23 seconds or something like that. I don't know. I almost in some ways see these more as like joke videos, <laughs> but like not funny, just like. I don't know. Just like, why is she doing this? I don't know. I just like doing it. I don't really know what this is. I'm not going to probably ever make any money being a person who just talks. And it's more like if I ever make really, really... I wasn't ever going to admit this, but... Why wasn't I ever going to admit this? Eh, it sounds kind of weird. I don't know. Put it this way. If I ever decide to like invest a whole year or something or more, like a lot of my peers do, into a really high quality album and then pay for PR and promotion and maybe get it to a label or just, you know, use a PR company and a booking agency and like really get it out there, then for those people who experience me through my polished and professional sounding music, I imagine that for a small fraction of them, it might be fun to stumble on these and get to know me. Like, I know it's not the same as like me being your actual friend, but then again, we're living in a weird YouTube world where this is kind of like what a lot of my piano students are doing is like getting to know people through them being a YouTuber. And like, I didn't mean to be a YouTuber. I never, ever, ever meant to be a YouTuber. Um, I just really like YouTube. <laughs> And I like making videos. And I tried sharing them on Facebook instead for a while. Um, and I considered like Twitch for a while because there's some more interactive qualities. But I don't know that I even want interaction. I don't really always know what to do if I get a comment. Like when they're nice comments, I usually respond really kindly. But I also just don't know. Like, like one part, <laughs> I respond with a little too much explanation. I'm not getting to the point of this video. This is hilarious. I mean, it's hilarious to me. Um, <laughs> but, so like one person was saying, why is the cor this corner of the internet so quiet? And they were very kind to me. And I thought that was amazing. And I was like, oh my gosh. And so then I not only thanked them for their kindness, but I also like went in depth as to how I don't use hashtags and I feel insecure. <laughs> I'm not really trying to attract attention. I feel like if I attracted positive attention, I'd also just attract criticism so like why try to attract anything you're not attracting like you're attracting what you're attracting it's just what it is like why why fight the flow of who you naturally are because all you'll do then is like rise up to some amount of something some level of attraction of people that then you attracted things that aren't even what you should have attracted and you attracted them by polishing yourself up and making yourself seem like something you're not like I see this in like hmm 
but I don't want to ever be mean, but like pop culture, hipster culture, like, uh, like a wealthy culture. There's just a lot of things where people are polishing up the outside to come off a certain way and then that attracts people. But then if your inside doesn't match your outside at all, like, of course, none of our insides match our outsides. Like, we're all putting on a show to some degree. But, like, if it's way different, then you're just going to be uncomfortable in the life that you attracted by forcing something by... <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> I saw it. I heard him coming, and then I saw it in the screen, and it was like... <laughs> okay. Um, I probably shouldn't be doing this on the sidewalk. That's really rude of me. Um... Hi, sorry. <laughs> Just doing a YouTube video. <laughs> um, anyway, so, um, where was I going with this? Mm, oh yeah, the list. Okay, so the list. So I was gonna make like a top 10, I don't know if top 10, did I get that from David Letterman? I don't know, or just life, people make lists. I'm gonna make you a list. These are ways that I think that you can grow or become a truer version of yourself and I'm just gonna go through in my mind kind of how I organize things in my mind I'm probably not gonna tell you the because I didn't write this out and this isn't planned but I feel like there will be ten of them that's my feeling okay number one and these aren't really in any particular order I don't know how to order things are you kidding me I mean every time I order like songs on an album it's like in such a random order so or it's in an order that makes sense to me or makes sense when I like kind of connect with something and feel like does this feel right does this feel right and then I just my old producer used to call that like the stone tablet because he wanted to move songs on my Debbie Stein and Fogel album and I was like uh, they just have to be it's like I could just feel it they needed to be in that order and he's like what like yeah <laughs> my stone tablet I guess anyway oh my gosh <laughs> number one I'm like kind of embarrassed to be me. That's why it makes me laugh so much. Like I'm not trying to be like this. I'm trying to start the list. <laughs> but I like literally can't because I keep needing to explain things. I need to stop doing that. I want to stop doing that. I don't want to stop doing that. That's the real problem. I think this is funny. But it's definitely not a good list video. Maybe I should call this like a comic video where I try to... <laughs> <laughs> to give you a list of tips but I can't do it and by minute 8 I finally do it it's minute 751 okay here we go because I'm not going to edit this I know myself oh my gosh I said here we go so here we go here we go number one have a home oh these are ways to grow have a home so Think of like the roots of a tree. In order to really, really grow, you have to just pick a home. It doesn't have to be forever. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to be a house. It could be one room. It could even just be like one desk. Like say you share a room, but you have like one desk that feels like a home base for your, for you, for you. And you just feel it's for you. And if there really isn't a physical place, like if you have lots of brothers and sisters, like maybe you're really young and you're watching this and you have brothers and sisters and they're everywhere and you just don't have a space that's just yours, then maybe you have a bed that's just yours, like something that just can feel like your roots, you know. And it, it kind of needs to be in physical reality because where I'm going with this kind of floats up in the clouds. So have a home base. For me, it's my house. Um... And inside that house, it's a couple specific rooms and places. I'm trying to make the office that I do work in feel more like a home, but that's kind of shared uh, with Brian. And then there's other spaces in the house that are shared with like my piano students. And then there's other spaces that are shared with my band and other spaces that could be just my own, but I don't use because maybe they're too close to where Brian might be or watching TV. And so it's like, it's it's complicated. It's very hard to make that feeling of home base. Sometimes my feeling of home base is my town. That's why I try to take walks here. I try to know the land here. I go sit by trees here. I just try to really feel rooted and connected in this place. And I've struggled with that because like I didn't always like Michigan and I didn't always like this town. There's issues with this town politically that I don't always resonate with. Um, 
but there's other sides that are super positive and then there's you know the music scene here isn't one that really has allowed me to feel like I belong whether or not that's something they're doing I'm just not of the same kind so like there's a lot of problems with my home feeling like a home I don't feel like embraced in the way that I would have thought I would have wanted but then again when I moved here I said oh I've always wanted to feel like a tourist in my own hometown I wanted to feel anonymous like I could walk around and not really be spotted or seen and just kind of enjoy the nature and the peacefulness of it the peace of it and so I have that now and so then I can't go around complaining that I don't have the opposite, which is like a family vibe and like friends everywhere that I want to go hang out with. Like I wanted this and this is what I chose. So this is what works for me is to feel kind of like an introvert, uh, kind of like an isolationist by accident, but mm, by design, creative reasons. Um, and then I go see friends, like I go visit friends or I go into Grand Rapids to visit friends or to play shows. I don't play very many shows here um, other than at our house. Um, so yeah, so that's my idea of like making a home. And I learned that one mostly from Brian. I'm not a natural home maker. I'm like a fly off and do things. So that's number one. Um, I think this video is so long, I'm just gonna <laughs> do it. It's probably gonna cut off, but I'm gonna uh, maybe do these in, in pieces. Maybe I'll, you know, make them all 10 separate videos. I didn't mean to do that, but I'm just such a talker, it's crazy. I don't know. And I don't feel bad for it because I'm grateful for all the things that came out in the beginning of this video. But yeah, so that's tip number one. I'll go somewhere else now and give you tip number two. <laughs> we'll see how long my intro is for that too. Bye!